historic attractions in Florida, the Weeki Watchy Mermaids. And tonight the show is back for the first time in a full year. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck shows you how the beloved state park is rebounding from the COVID-19 pandemic and the new measures they're taking to keep their guests safe. It's a tradition that dates back to 1947. The world famous underwater mermaids and their beautiful 117 million gallon natural spring. Tony Malone is from Iowa, but he remembers his mom taking him to see the mermaids when he was a kid. A fond memory he's now recreating with his own daughter. I can't say that I remember a whole lot about the show from when I was a kid, but um, yeah, it's it's pretty neat to be able to take our our uh, my family uh, to something that I, I got to experience as a kid. Timing for his family couldn't be more perfect. Over the past year, state park leaders were able to work on several projects to better the health of this spring for years to come. It happened to coincide with COVID, but they tell us they were able to accomplish even more because of that. We've been able to work through the off season to utilize our time to get the projects done so that at the start of the new Swim season, spring break, and everything going on, we're able to open it back up and welcome the visitors again. The Buccaneer Bay Water Park is also back open. It was really hard, especially keeping two small children busy um, when everything was shut down. So it's nice to be able to get out, get fresh air, make memories, things like that. So we're happy to hear things are opening back up and we can enjoy Florida. You'll see a lot of new signage at the park encouraging social distancing. And seating at the Mermaid Show is now limited and spaced apart. We're just super excited to have people back. We love to have the park full and, and for folks to enjoy it. Adding a splash of magic in a year when we've never needed it more. Every little girl wants to be a mermaid, right? We uh, can't wait to come again. In Wiki Watchy, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.